Well, a couple of days ago, I did Walk 100. I'd say about 150 people joined me in Central Park as I walked around for about an hour and a half. And now we're going on to Walk 102, and I'm going to be joined by J.J. Watt today as he gets ready for the uh, NFL uh, today on CBS. Uh, we'll be walking him uh, to CBS, and uh, hopefully this is the start of something big. We're going to be doing... Uh, while I'm doing these walks, I'm going to be uh, joined by different celebrities here and there. I, I might be a little groggy because I'm a uh, night owl and uh, I'm literally up before the crack of dawn. I'm more likely to be going to bed at this time than waking up at this time. Everyone's guessed your source, Stu Fine, it infiltrates everything. And when I heard that Frank was meeting J.J. Watt, I just got the Uber and I just showed up, baby, and here I am. But let me tell you something. The goal was always to make Frank the biggest star in the world. And no one needed to do that. All you needed to do is to look at Frank and to see what an anomaly he was. Smartest man in the world, insane photographic memory, cannot stump him on sports or trivia or really anything in life. But what the bottom line is about Frank is heart of gold would give his heart, where's all his emotions on his sleep. That's why people love him. He is relatable. He is lovable. And he is Frank the Tank. <laughs>I thought the play was in that He was fail. wide open. Like, he would have got like five yards. Hi, JJ. It's too fun. A pleasure. How are you doing? Good hey, to see you. All right. Yeah, the, uh, uh, the, Colts, the Colt guy was wide open. He was like stumbling, but it hit him like in the chest. And oh, my God. Dropped. Chest? Chest is generous, Frank. I don't think it hit him in the chest. Well, it's hit him like over here. I mean, the real question is, why do you pay running back all that money and not have him on the field like four That's what I just asked he's, him up the, I mean, oh, he's, but he didn't sleep last night. To me. And he had such an amazing game, too. Know, that's what sucks. He had an epic game. He was dominating. Oh. I did a uh, raw dog at the uh, hot dog place or the stadium takeout. Yeah. Across was it? Madison. Was it all right? It's all right. Yeah? Where's the best hot dog in the country? Uh, Rutz Hut. Rutz Hut, Clifton, New Jersey. And uh, Chicago also has a great dog called Gene and Jude's. All right. And if you're ever in Washington, go to Ben's Chili Bowl. All right. Those are, I would say, like the well, three icons, three iconic mm -hmm. places I've been to. And you just and eat it straight. And Pink's in LA, of course. You just eat it straight, right? Like, you don't, when you go to the chili place, you don't get a chili dog? I do get a chili dog now. I do, do, I do actually try the chili. I just don't put mustard or uh, ketchup or anything like that on there. I hate mustard. I despise ketchup and... Uh, Mayonnaise to me is uh, food repellent. Have you had Skyline Chili? Uh, yeah, I wasn't a big fan. Me too. All right. We, we agree on that. I wasn't a big fan. I think the chili was a little bland. And then the hot dogs were like... Yeah. So, I mean, uh, I actually struck the place out. I mean, I respect it because it's an institution, but I don't like it. And uh, to me, I'm not a big chili. I, I don't like spaghetti that much. Okay. But... Putting chili on spaghetti, yeah, it's no, just strange. No, 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 no. Stu, how are you? Hi, uh, everything's good. Yeah. Working hard, keeping busy. It's an honor to be here. Very grateful. Oh. You know, I've been in Tank's corner, you know, since the inception, and fell in love with him, and uh, this is now just the culmination of uh, a lot of hard work, and uh, we're extremely blessed and honored to have you. Oh, know? I'm glad and, to be you here. Know, our attitude and gratitude flows through the roof. <laughs> Uh, you know, we're going to try to make this like a series, and uh, you know, with your credibility and you helping us lead the world. So oh, I appreciate the entertainment. You guys have given me plenty of entertainment, so thank I, you. Thank you. I very much appreciate. It. I hope to hear some bodybuilding stories on this walk at some point. I'm a <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mahalik. Yes, oh, really? I mean the, the Mahalik story oh, is God. one of the most iconic stories in the history of time. <laughs> Surreal. Yeah. So surreal. Oh, Unbelievable. Tank, how did this? How did this start? When, well, why did you uh, decide to start walking? Uh, we were talking uh, when we went to the Notre Dame game about uh, how I could probably lose some weight and just like going for walks more. And a couple of years ago, I started tried to start a walking regimen, and I just got off of it. Uh, so, 
we decided to start doing some walks and uh, uh, being in the city I could go do some hot dog reviews and it started by doing a hot dog review at Chelsea Market okay. and then okay that was walk one it was originally going to be like okay I'm going to walk a few times a week and then it just like snowballed we did the next day the next day went to a Mets game walked around the concourse at City Field just watching the Mets actually play is a uh, <laughs> is akin to torture. The walk was better. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's 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 Mets at City Field. I mean, look at the team they're assembling this year. I, I mean, it looks like uh, it looks like Moneyball, except uh, our uh, blabbermouth right? owner. Hi, we're going towards Times Square. I, I, let's go this way. Let's go towards Times Square. The route to CBS is too direct. We got to get more steps in. Yes. All right. How was the hundredth? I saw it. Uh, it was incredible. I think there was about 150 people joined me in Central Park as we walked from uh, from uh, Strawberry Fields. Uh, there was a guy actually there that was uh, playing Beatles songs and hated us because he no one was tipping him. <laughs> the, you know, the people who get tipped are people who are actually good. This it's, guy was like no good. This guy was terrible. <laughs> and then he was like complaining. Hey, I've been here. What are you doing? I'm not here sitting here for free. It's cold out here. No one's tipping me. What are you doing? All we are saying is give peace a chance. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Just fucking tip me, motherfucker. Could you sing better than him? I probably could. What's the best Beatles song? Uh, what's my favorite Beatles song? Um, Long and Winding Road's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I like uh, Yesterday. Yesterday's a great one. My wedding song was Here Comes the Sun, so I'm partial, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the sun's coming out in about 10 minutes. You think? Although we may not see it yeah. with the rain, but sunrise is supposed to be in about 10, 20 minutes. What's the worst weather you've had for a walk so far? Uh, we, were, uh, we actually walked across the Brooklyn Bridge in a driving rainstorm. <laughs> Conditions had to be the woods walk at night. What was that? Well, that was the worst conditions. Explain that when you do. Yeah, uh, well, we were doing road trips. So we went to Chicago for a couple of days, and so on the way back, we had to find a spot to walk. But it was dark, and the only place you could find was this wooded area in, um, uh, were we in any, uh, Ohio, or I think it was. Yeah, Ohio. We were, no, Ohio. We were uh, outside of Cleveland, Richmond. Okay. Richfield, Richfield, uh, watch the stairs. Richfield, so we were in Richfield, so we walked uh, in the woods and I couldn't see anything. So you had to get, uh, JJ, you had to get a step count. I had to get my step count. You used to not get 10,000. 10,000 a day? 10,000 is the minimum. All right. 10,000 is the minimum. All right. So like how long, so what is it, about, about a two mile walk a day? Yeah, at least. Yesterday was the first time we even came close to having snow, although it really didn't stick. Yeah, there was a little. When I flew in, there was a little, little bit. Um, we had one day where it was like uh, 25 degrees. That wasn't a, that was, no. a, that was a tough walk. Yeah. Very cold. And I'm actually pretty good at handling the cold. Um, here's, here's one showing, uh, we, one day, I had a fever, 102 temperature. No, uh, Jordan, <laughs> And, six. uh, I was walking outside and I just was getting the chills, so we decided to try to, uh, to try to, uh, go inside, so we ended up walking around Macy's. All right, that works. Find a way, right? Yes. Find a way. That was a tough day. You're, you're in bad shape. Uh, I went home. I took a nap. Did my podcast. Took a nap. The devil's lost. Made me angry. I took us the wrong way, Frank. I don't know where we are. What? We're on 57th and 6th, so we're going towards the park. Let's go left. As part of putting stuff online, some people will shit on you for putting stuff online. But the reality is it's an accountability level where you're like, I can't, I've been saying I'm doing this every single day. I can't let people down now. When I started this, I would feel cramps. I would get, get uh, pains in my hips, yeah. pains in my legs. And I had to like stop and like fly for like five minutes. Yeah. I rarely do that anymore. The only times I might do that is if I hit a tough hill. Yeah, that's awesome. 
Have you had to change your diet at all, or have you tried, or is it just purely the exercise? It's mainly mainly exercise. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm eating, trying to eat a little less here and there. Trying to uh, eat fewer French fries and stuff. Yeah. I do have to try a Pat Lafrida at some point. I, oh, at uh, City Field? Yes, I, I've heard so much about this. Oh yeah, that this. thing is so good. Is it legitimately worth the hype? Yeah, the uh, Pat Lafrida steak sandwich at City Field is the best food item I've ever had at any stadium. Lafrida's? Yes. Very solid. Legit? Very, very solid. Is that the Houston Super Bowl jacket, by the way? Yes, look! Wow! That's a, <laughs> is, is that that's a nice oh, pull. That yeah. It was the only, I've been to 18 Super Bowls. And it was the only Super Bowl that I took my father. My father's going to be 87. Oddly enough, on the Super Bowl February 11th. Wow. And uh, yeah, me and my pop went to Houston. And it was the Patriots South Panthers. Yeah. <coughs> but that was Janet Jackson's game, Janet right? Jackson, yeah. Oh my God. Right, exactly. What a time. Yeah. yeah. And it was such a surreal Super Bowl because no points scored in the first and the third quarter. And then they scored like 24 points in the second quarter. And like. I taught it in the fourth quarter, like 37 minutes, yeah. because I think the final was 32-29 when Terry kicked that uh, winning yeah, goal, yeah. like four seconds left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like... What a oh, jacket, oh, it was yeah. Like, it was That's unbelievable. A... It was like God's will. Yeah, it's a great jacket. Yeah, you know, the thing about um, JJ, what Frank does, is uh, he's a power of example, yeah. but he does not like the spotlight. Yeah. He does not like... like people. People are very impressed with how hard he works right. and what he does. And I think, it, like you said, you put it online and it's extremely inspiring. Watch the pole. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, nice. It's like, if, <coughs> just like Frank did a video a couple days ago. If Frank can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah. You know, that's similar to, you know, how it works. And I think showing people how simple it is, like it's walking. You're literally walking. As long as you can walk, you can improve yourself and I think that's something that everybody thinks that when they want to try and make a big change in their life whether it's weight loss whether it's getting healthier whatever it is they feel like they got to go to the gym run on the treadmill they got to do all this stuff it's literally just walk just do something a little bit different each day and then like you've seen it builds up over time and you start to get a little addicted to it and you're like wow I'm seeing some results and now you start to chase those results and now big changes come with just one small little start yeah, eventually, it's really cool. just how bad the Mets are going to be this year. I think we're going to do the Dirty Ballpark Tour. So they, they, can't do, they can't do small changes for a big... <laughs> they tried big changes last year with all their no, they're, all they're, the big money and acquisitions. And when they trade Pete Alonso, which will be the most stupid thing they ever do, they're going to... They're, 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 their prospects are terrible. They have no good prospects. But they have so much money, Frank. They can just buy whoever they need now. Well, they're not doing that anymore. Man, New York's a cool place. It's just a cool place. It is, yeah. It is such a beautiful place. Yeah. 56th in time? 57th. We're on it, so we just gotta we just kill time, yeah. This is great. Yeah, this this place is I feel like you're in the center of the universe. So who's gonna take the uh the, the awards in the NFL this year? Oh uh, are you trying to get me riled up on an early morning, Frank? <laughs> are you trying to get me riled up? Who could you possibly put over TJ Watt for defensive player of the year? Miles got uh, on, on, he's, okay, he's an unbelievable player. Sorry yeah, he'll, about last night. yeah, it's okay. He'll be he'll, he'll get it checked up today. I mean, it shouldn't be. Hopefully, it's not terrible, terrible. But I think it's it's a little. We'll see. Well, I know I you need. Uh, I know you, uh, you're rooting for the damn Dolphins to win tonight. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm with you tonight, so I'll be I'll be grinding. Yeah, be yes, uh, grinding with you. Yes. Uh, what do you think about them tonight? I just don't feel good. Too many injuries. No Mostert. Now no Waddle. Uh, the entire uh, defense is just decimated. Jerome Baker, uh, Jalen Phillips on it. On, 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 I, I mean, by the way, I would love to just like the, the, the turf at MetLife Stadium yeah. to rip it up yeah. with my hands. Yeah. Because I am t 20 players, you, you tell me 20 players have torn their ACLs and their Achilles on that field. And the Jets and Giants, it's okay, it's fine. It's a lot of data. It's a lot of data. Yeah. Yeah. I it's mean, Jalen Phillips went down. That that was horrible. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he and doesn't touch him. It's just like, because the field is such poor condition. You have this billion-dollar stadium, which, by the way, 
giant stadium is better than this stadium. This stadium looks like a giant air conditioning unit. <laughs> it's the ugliest stadium in the lake. There's no frills in the stadium. Uh, I went into the uh, bathroom on uh, Black Friday. There was like no security. There's like 300 people in a, uh, a bathroom that's like, it was like a, a, a real danger. Remember the guy that stole off of you? Yeah, like they're trying to follow me into the stall. What? Yes. Follow you into the stall? Yes. Luckily you got your bodyguard here. No people people well, follow Frank into the stall often? Absolutely. All kinds of crazy stuff. He's like Madonna. Imagine him in a Mexican. Oh. Like, like have you ever been peeing and someone taps you and says, can I take a picture? Oh, yeah. God, yeah. it's yeah. the yeah. worst. Yeah. No, it's the it's worst. So yeah. So yeah. I mean, I don't, I, I mean, I, just I, as a human being, I don't know what we're doing. Like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we've lost like simple <laughs> etiquette <laughs> classes. Still, <laughs> it's, it's why I go into the stalls now. It's why I go into the stall now. Here's one time I was at the urinal there and all I hear this guy. Go right, right, right by me. Run! Like, like it's like top of his lungs, right in my ear. Well, I'm at the goddamn urinal. Well, I mean, are you are you one to talk about people yelling at the top of their lungs? <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you got today? We got gambling cave all day. Uh, well, the only thing we're going to be broadcasting at the gambling cave tonight is my misery as the Dolphins lose. We will be there. Yeah. Have you been optimistic at all this year? What? No. Were you optimistic about the Dolphins at all this year? Yes. When it's did that start and stop? When I start seeing players go down. To me, the Dolphins season is all injuries. Uh, Mike Medango's done a great job. Tyree Kill is the real deal. To approve that to everyone that he is a good quarterback. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 these morons go, he's not athletic. Uh, I, I mean, the, the, the morons on that, that four-letter station there. He can't <laughs> throw the ball deep. And the video actually shows him throwing the ball deep yeah. as he's showing the video. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it feels like ESPN hates him because two have proven him wrong. I, I don't think they hate him because two has proven them wrong. I don't think that. I do think an argument people make, and I'm, you, you, you can speak to it, is that they are against teams with winning records, they're one and four. They beat the Cowboys out, and that, yes. was, their, and that was their only home game. Yeah, they're really good at home. They're really good at home. That was their all, the only... The, their, 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 so are you saying they can't win on the road? It, it's tougher to beat good teams on the road. Oh, absolutely. I agree. They didn't play poorly in Germany against the, the Chiefs. He had a bad yeah. first half, but a good second yeah. half. That's right. Do you like Hard Rock Stadium? Yes, I do. Yeah, they've done a good job there. I like uh, that place. They do yeah. put you in the heat if you're a visitor. They put I, you that's in the how heat. it should be. <laughs> I agree. You know what I love? And it's hot. Oh, yeah. I miss, like, when, I miss like the old days when you had little advantages like that in your stadium. Like you had a shitty away what get, locker What gets room. me is Buffalo. The Dolphins shouldn't be allowed to play games in the summer like that. They say that? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Buffalo, <laughs> you shouldn't have games in the snow. Are you mad they're not building a dome Who? in Buffalo? No, because you should have snow games. You yeah. should have heat yeah. games. You should have rain games. Yeah. I like a little character. I like a little. Yeah. Like, there should be rivalries. Everything is a little too, like, the jersey swaps and everybody does everything. It's all I hate buddy that. buddy out there. I hate the jersey swaps. Uh, if I was an athlete, if I was a good player, if I could do things like this, I'd be one of those guys before the game. Don't even talk to me. <laughs> don't even get a, get to, get yeah. away from me. Get away from me. I, I would I would I would I would not want to talk to anyone. I'd be one of these guys like if I was like a first baseman in baseball, and I uh, uh, standing first base and goes uh, and then someone talks to me, I go fuck you. <laughs> play the game. Frank, if you could only play for one, if you if you were an athlete. And you could play on one team on any sport in history. What team? In what year? Like, what? Which team are you being a part of? The 1986 Mets. Because maybe 72 Dolphins as, as second choice, but 1986 Mets would probably be the most fun team because that team, basically, before the season sets, uh, their motto was, "We're coming to your town." We're gonna uh, fuck your women, steal your booze, and kick your ass. Yeah!
<laughs> yeah! That's... Wake up! Now on the Sunday! Now we're talking! That was the 86 Mets. I think that's Stu's life motto. Right? And, the, <laughs> and the whole team, I mean, they were all cooked up. All right, so, but you have to replace the player on that team because you have to play. So who are you replacing? What position are you playing? Uh, let's see. Rafael Santana yeah. or Doug Risk. Yeah, Doug Risk out of the bullpen. Yeah, all right. So Those are the two worst players. <laughs> You're just going to go hang out in the bullpen with yeah. the squad? Yeah, Doug Risk. <laughs> His real name was Doug Sisk, but yeah. uh, Mets fans uh, used to call him Doug Risk because when you put him in a game, you risk losing. <laughs> Oh. Stu, do you still work out heavy? What do we got? Um, I've seen some videos, but I haven't you know, seen a lot. Like, what? I, so you? I was training for the Chicago Marathon uh, to run. Wow! And uh, I started off walking uh, ten point eight a day. Wow! Probably a seventeen minute mile. I did like a thousand miles walking. I could not get my speed up, no matter what I did. Yeah. And I just like I was running like. I ran the New York City Marathon in 2017. Um, July 20th, I just said, I'm gonna do it. And I went from 220 to 174. I ran 512 miles for three months, three weeks. And I killed it. I yeah. ran it in four hours, 39 minutes, 24 wow. seconds, 1040 miles. I could have ran 25. I could have ran another 20 miles afterwards. I crossed the finish line and you couldn't tell that I even did anything. So I figured, let me do it again. After 60 years old, all my skill sets, as far as my endurance, as far as performance, has gone in the toilet. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Such a difference. So now I'm just doing lightweights and I'm walking. Yeah. And, uh, but it's not the same. I can't get that burn. Yeah, I know. Like, I, yeah. like my mind, my mind yeah. just shuts down. It's, it's not even a physical ability, it's, it's mental. Yeah, it's fascinating. I are we in, in full-blown diabetes talk right here? We're gonna, be, we're gonna be crushing it on the diabetes timeline. My, buddy back, my buddy's back home, a couple of them have it. So that's the only way I learned about AO1C. This is fascinating to me. Yeah. yeah. So how do you get it? The biggest way to get it down is obviously just exercise and cutting out sugars. All sugars, all carbs. All carbs? Yeah. All That's sugars, it. all carbs, and extreme, at least for me, extremely heavy exercise. Yeah. But I'm a binger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I, it, yeah. I really, I go for the sugars. So and what's carbs. your go-to? What's your, what's your muse? My go-to would be, uh, starts with Ruffles potato chips. Oh, oh man. And then I go for hot salsa pretzels. That That's better. your first thing you're going to? Absolutely. If you're binging, Absolutely. I mean, I, Love them, no but that's the it. first thing you're no picking up. No two ways about it. Hot the pretzels, ruffles, potato chips. And then I just say, fuck it, I blew it. And then I go, wait, wait, wait you said rocket. hard salted pretzels? Yeah, Not hard, a soft pretzel. No, no, hard salted pretzels. Oh, I, man, salty. wait a second. So you can, you got a cheat day and you can go pick anything. Else. You're picking up, you're picking a brick with salt on it. I'm, I'm picking hard mm. salted pretzels, ruffles, mm. potato chips, and then Rocky Road with peanuts. Mm. And pralines and cream. One thing I've those would be my four. One thing I've done is I've reduced the amount of chocolate I eat. Do you see a lot? Uh, yeah, I would buy like a a couple of bags of uh, those uh, uh, either the fun size uh, uh, Milky Way uh, combos or the uh, yeah. Now yeah. I, I'll have maybe a handful of uh, M and M's a couple times a day, not even a full bag. Yeah. Uh, I too like the pretzel rods. Man. The ones that look like yeah, the ones that look like uh, the ones that look like cigars. The hard pretzel just doesn't get it's fine, but like if I'm going in <sighs> and like I've, a soft and pretzel, I, like a cinnabon, like you know, something with some juice to it. And I've reduced the amount of chips I eat. Yeah. That's What's your go-to chip? Are you also ruffles? Uh barbecue. Barbecue? Yeah. Alright. I love I like barbecue chips. Alright. Uh, Love a good barbecue. The trip. thing I kind of, I'm kind of addicted to right now, it's a little bit better but still not great, are the Andy Cap Hot Fries. The what? Andy Cap Hot Fries. What's that? It's kind of like the Hot Cheetos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except yeah, yeah, it's a different yeah, yeah, brand yeah, yeah. and it tastes much better. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Have you ever had all dressed chips from Canada? Uh, yeah, they're a little weird. What? Oh, they're so good. 
That's 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 an unbelievable chip. What about ketchup chips? You ever had ketchup? I hate ketchup. Really? Oh, you hate ketchup? Yeah, yes. that doesn't work. I forgot. I love salt. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I, I've seen that. I have, I have seen that. The doctors cannot. The doctors cannot love the salt pouch, Frank. What? That can't be good for the, this. I don't know if that's. A, <laughs> it's unbelievable. I mean, when I watch the Devils videos and you whip out the salt pouch and you dump salt on, I mean, that's that's. It's just. It's just Chicken tenders, salt. Fries, already have salt. Salt. First time he just, came over, I couldn't believe it. It's unbelievable. On that is on. I, was, I shut up. Like, you know, I wasn't even saying nothing. I've never brought it up on the right team. Frank, as long as you bring it up, you need to use less motherfucking salt. Frank, if you, if you ever are close to missing a weigh-in, uh, uh, one you want to hit, just stop eating salt for one week, and you'll drop 15 pounds in a heartbeat. Pure water salt. weight. Oh, your body would, yeah. No, we can't cold turkey. You really gotta go to Salt Anonymous. <laughs> How did you start that? Like, when did you start carrying a packet of salt? Because about 10 years ago, New York's mayor uh, uh, signed a law where ta uh, restaurants can no longer have salt on the table. What? <laughs> yes. Is that still the case? No. I no, I don't know, no. no. But there was a time where they didn't allow salt. So then you just started. You said. You, Fuck it. No, I need my own pack. It is true, and they actually had a went to court, and the courts said that you can't make that law. Which mayor? Your favorite mayor? Uh, Bloomberg. Oh. Yeah, the, the guy. This guy also wanted to ban large bottles of soda. Right, the big gulps. Yeah, in big gulps. Yeah. He wanted to have like you can only like buy eight ounces. And like, the beverage industry sued and says that you can't make laws like that. <laughs> So you, you, when he banned salt, you said, somebody find me a pouch. Yep. I it, was a, it, was a, uh, it was actually a uh, Mets coin purse giveaway at City Field. <laughs> it's been the same one? Yes. That's incredible. And you just refill it, what, daily, weekly? How? Uh, a couple times He's a month. opportunistic. We'll be at a restaurant. They got some extra salt packages. He just fucking ransacks them. That's incredible. That's, That's what my incredible. grandmother used to do. My grandmother used to go to, like, uh, Burger King and... And uh, she go there and said, uh, well, we just grab like a whole pack of napkins, put it in her purse. Grab a whole like the ketchup packets, put it in her purse. I almost started doing that with sriracha. When it, <laughs> sriracha went on a, uh, it became very rare. So I almost went to Chinese well, restaurant and swiped a pack of sriracha. <laughs> that's based in reality. Come on, my, uh, my uh, grandmother was Italian, lived in New Jersey. So you only have the gambling cave for the Dolphins game tonight. So what do you do the rest of the day? I'm uh, gonna watch football, watch the other games, be tortured, tormented, thinking about how bad the Dolphins are gonna lose. You said we're gonna go for another walk? Yeah, probably. Stu, what do you got today? Um, I don't know, I might hang with them today, but I'm busy during the Sundays because yeah. I actually sell the games, you know, people yeah, yeah, yeah. off who's the your, show. Who's your top pick today? Um, I mean, if you're asking me right I, mean, I guess you can't right say it. I don't want to no, give no, away no, for no, free. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Right this second would be Carolina Panthers against the Tampa, against, yeah. uh... Okay. Yeah, What against Tampa Bay. What data gives you that? Um, against the grain, yeah. against the public, yeah. worst team in the NFL, Why that them, Tampa needs the game, Baker coming off a horrific game and an injury, so they need the game to get in. Yeah. And I like the spot. You know so, what game I like I like today? that spot. It's a hard game to bet. It makes you oh, really yeah. uncomfortable. So like, so like I'm very curious because I like I've never actually been in this world because I've been playing. So like, you're a guy that gives out picks. How much do you lay on a pick? Like an average pick that you give out? I mean, I, you don't have to say well, it. Well, yeah. no. Well, I mean, people, people. I uh, have not gambled, gambled. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the last bet I made was the uh, Broncos over the Carolina Panthers. Yeah. You know, for a couple hundred thousand yeah, yeah. dollars. Well, I, people bet millions of dollars yeah. on my opinion, yeah, yeah. and I get paid up front, yeah, yeah. and I get paid in the future, so I don't need yeah, to so you gamble, don't, that's yeah, yeah, my yeah. action. That makes sense. Frank, who's your pick? I heard you saying one. Titans I, to beat the Jaguars. Sneaky. I, no, I think Vrabel gets the guys ready to go. I think he fires them up with like a fire and brimstone speech. I, I don't disagree with you. I think, uh, I think uh, if Trevor Lawrence plays, he's not right, and if he doesn't play, the Titans are not is not not terrible at home. It's your guy I, Tannehill. What? It's your guy Tannehill, former Dolphin. You mean Ryan Trashy? <laughs> I mean, I look at this dude. When this guy's the Dolphins, you can always play like the Benny Hill song, man. As he just ran around and lost 17 yards. 
Oh, let's walk. Come on. He's ha he's had some shining moments <laughs> and some abysmal moments too. Yeah, and, and you also have to think that today could be a day for him to prove himself for another team possibly. Yeah, well, he's not going to be in Tennessee next yeah, year. So. Wow. It could be a day where he's trying to prove himself. And Will Levis played good enough where he should get a chance to be the starter. Is it possible to go into an NFL game <clears throat> and not go 100% without like risking your life? Like, you know, a game that doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I, I think that I think you put yourself at much greater risk if you try and tippy toe around, if you try and be safe. You definitely put yourself at much greater risk than if you go 100%. But there's also. If you truly wanted to, you could find your ways, you could find ways to take yourself completely out of harm's way. Like the, the, the example that I think of is like, let's say I'm on the right side of the line and the play is a running play away from me. So I'm like, but you'd be running that way. Like instead of chasing that a hundred miles an hour, you just jog and watch the play. So like you're taking your, your you're not going a hundred percent and you're taking yourself in. Watch, That's the type watch. of stuff you'll see like at the end of the season, like it's not necessarily if a guy's coming at me head on, like you're gonna, that's 100%. But there are some guys that at the end of the season, they're making business decisions where I'm not gonna chase that play down or I'm not gonna make the extra effort. Would you call those guys out or would you kind of empathize with what they're doing? No, no, you, you call them out. I mean, you <laughs> like, I've, yeah, you've done it privately, yeah. done it publicly. Well, um, uh, Jenks. No problem, um, but yeah, it's it's the end of the season for teams that are in really tough spots. Like you're, you know, you're foreign. Like the Jets. You're foreign. Yeah, like you're in a tough spot. But at the end of the day, you're an athlete. Like it's pride. Like that's it's, you're, you're. It's you can't even if you weren't getting paid. Even if there was no, you are. You want to compete. You want to be the best. And then let's say that doesn't do it for you. Well, you're also getting paid hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. And people are coming to watch you. Like I don't know how you could possibly go out there and not. It blows my mind. Uh, uh, we, we got a cop following you, Frank. Just having to yeah. talk to each other. The mob bosses. They're, they're pissed. They're pissed, Frank. The uh, the uh, Patriots. I expect to see a good. I expect to see them go out there today. It's Belichick's last game. Yeah. Say hello. <laughs> He's, I, yeah, I cannot see. I cannot see them not delivering their absolute best effort. You would and they to. always beat the Jets. You would imagine. I mean, they have to, right? <clears throat> I, like, the thing that kind of sucks for and me... I, and I hope that at the end of the game, that they, like, that he, like, like, they allow him to, like, walk off the field on his own before anyone else or after anyone else, and the whole stadium gives I, him the loudest ovation possible. I agree with you. That's one thing that I keep thinking about this game with them that it's such a tricky situation because there's a big part of me that's like just say you're moving on so that there can be a celebration yeah. today like yeah if you're not because because i mean I, and i despise him personally i think right. i think he's a snake right but you win six super bowls like yeah. you deserve to go out in your last game like with the fans with everything now they'll bring him back someday and do it properly yeah but everybody kind of knows today's his last day so like i wish they could do it special make it make it right i think there's a chance he ends up in washington but if he doesn't go to Washington, he's just going to be gone. Be gone? No, there's no way he's done. There's no way he's done. He's still San Diego? He's so I don't, close not, to the record. Not I, don't, I, don't, I think that's such an instable situation. Carolina, he's already basically said he's not going to Carolina. Because that owner's a nut. <laughs> I think you got to respect some owner. He's worth 10 Toss million drink to some throw people. a drink. Well, he said it was he, he, face. He, yeah, next year, next it. year they're going to have their, it. It's passion. Next year they're going to have their seventh coach since 2019. Oh, is, there's no stability there. No. no there's I think Washington will throw the bag at him. I think Washington will, like, and, and, and Lombardi went to Washington. Would you be, would you be, would you like that move? Uh, it, it's a good, it's a, it's an interesting move. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's probably a natural fit for him. Yeah. Uh, you know the guys that own the uh, Commanders also own the Devils. Yeah. So what are your what are your thoughts? That he's going to want to put because Washington's been de so down so long. Yeah. I mean they kind of let Ron Rivera squish in the wind this year, although yeah you can tell that's been over for a while. 
Anything? This is the end of our walk. Anything I missed? Anything you guys? Any nope, questions uh, you guys have? Anything? Oh yes, yes. The JJ Watt Foundation. We'd like to Thank start you. helping with that. Maybe uh, get involved. Maybe do like maybe a walk with JJ Watt Foundation. Right. I appreciate that very much. We've done a lot of really cool work. It's a pretty special thing. I started when I was in college, so it. Uh, we, I believe we're in 37 or 38 states across the country now. We've donated like seven million dollars. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing. Yeah, it's been, New York, New Jersey. Um, we've done New York. We've done New Jersey. Yeah, we're 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 all over the place. It's pretty cool. It's it's crazy. I started in college because of Myron Roll when he was at Florida State. You remember Myron Roll? Yeah. Uh, he was a Rhodes Scholar and he started a charity when he was in college. And I remember. He's a surgeon now, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and so they did a story on him on college game day about his charity when he was in college. And I was like, I didn't even know you could start a charity when you're in college. So that's what made me start mine. And it's uh, it's been a really cool experience. So whether so. it's 150, 200, you choose, yeah. but we'll fundraise. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate the walk. I appreciate the inspiration, the entertainment. Uh, it's really cool. It's cool. It's cool to see. It's cool to watch you thanks. continue your journey. And uh, you're, you're inspiring a whole lot of people out there. So keep it up, oh, my thanks. friend. Yeah. Have a great day. Good uh, luck you to your too. dolphins. My watch is stuck. I'm going to give you a hug. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I know TJ wants a dolphin. I know TJ yeah, wants yeah. a dolphin to win. Yes, he does. I hope friend. he can. Yes, he I just so don't I'm know. rooting with you tonight. I don't know. Right. Just uh, so many injuries. I'm just uh, I'm discouraged by you're, all the injuries. Don't be discouraged. The whole fun of the sport is that you get to you get to be optimistic. All I want, and then if it's over, then then yeah. Then all you're... I want is one playoff win. Yeah. Okay, but here's my thing with your fandom. So you're always negative, right? You're yes. always negative. Yes. Which is great for entertainment. You, you know, you know, but for you your know, own mental health, it's terrible. You, you know, what's caused it? What? The Mets. But I, I I put all my negativity. Right on the Mets. So, so let's say let's say the Dolphins game tonight. Let's say they are going to lose, and you're going to be miserable. Why not be happy for the hours leading up to the game and have some hope, and then it would possibly be, be even happier when they win. It would be better if I had my my, my team healthy. You guys doing, uh, you but what? That, uh, but they could still win. They still have yeah, hope. They could still be great, and you could have an awesome, exciting day leading up to it. I just instead I, of thinking of all the negative. I just want a playoff win. Just one. Just one? Just, you guys got a good team. If they go out in the second round, if they go, I can live with that. I don't want to go out in the first round, especially when the Lions win a playoff game this year. So now, you know, so now you're more optimistic about the Lions than your own team. <laughs> back the boys, Frank. You got to back the it's boys. It's the injuries. It's the injuries. But that's sports. That's uh, a locker room. They're going to resolve. They're going to overcome. Yeah. Uh, rise above. Yes. Meanwhile, rise above. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Jack Hughes is injured. He's going to yeah, be out probably suck. a month. That does suck. Come to the gambling that does. Suck. I've never seen him react so well. To I'm going to be on TV. He's going to be yelling at me on the gambling game. I'm going to. I'm going to give a Dolphins update. He's going to go through the walk, and now he hates the Dolphins. Him and Scuff have power. I can't stand up. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, Tony Romo, I know hates the Dolphins. Hey, Jim. Jim, 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 Jim. He might get, he might get Who's me to the point where Oh, you guys are on uh, NBC, right? Yeah. yeah night, night, oh, no, there's another one. <laughs> hey, 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 Mike Tarico, I'm going to play with those. <laughs> I like Mike. I like oh, I'm not talking about Mike Tarico. I'm talking oh, about Codron. Oh, you're talking about Chris. Yeah, Codron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do, that, do that giggle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys you guys, take a, a yeah, let's take a photo. Yeah, let's take a photo. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. You're the best. Uh, no, no problem. Of course, Brad. Right. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, guys. You guys have a great day. Right. Great meeting you guys. Have Thanks a great again. Week. There's only two places where you see something like this. One, at a serial killer's house. And two, <laughs> the hotel lobby. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!